This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to a new episode of FFPÖ. My name is Paul and this is the 12th episode already. Wow, we are really steaming ahead on this one. And uh, it's the 20th uh, of September 2016. And I'm here with... Pockets. Hi, Pockets. Hey, what's going on, Paul? <sighs> nice to, to, to have you here, man. It's Thank you for having me. Oh, it's, 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 it's my pleasure, really, really. It's, <laughs> it's, an, it's, an, it's a new, new, new um, I'm guessing, a unique experience for me. Having a black man no, watch not funny games with you? <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's... I think this is like one of the most Austrian mu movies I've ever watched. Wait, are, and are, am I the first black guest? Yes, you are. Oh, uh, shit. That also. I'm, that, that I'm, also. I'm busting your black cherry. Yes, you do. I'm, I'm happy very about happy that. about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy that you're I'm, happy about it. I'm very happy about that. That's, that's you know, you, you, you only get a first time. You only, yeah, and when they say once, once you go black, yes, you kind of never go back. Oh, my, my other co-host's gonna be so upset. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought you, I was your man. And you're like, no, he's with me now. He's my bitch. <laughs> oh, very, very, very happy to be your bitch. <laughs> very happy. Okay, so we watched Funny Games, the 1997 Austrian-German movie made by the famous Austrian director Michael Haneke, mm -hmm. which... Uh, You saw the... I saw the American version starring Michael Pitts, and I can't remember... And you, uh, mean, uh, you mean Eli Roth? No, Michael Wait. Pitt is one of the... Uh, he plays the fatty. He right, plays fatty. right, right. And um, the father is played by Tim Roth? Tim Roth, not right. Eli <laughs> Roth. Yeah. That would have been way much better yeah, with yeah, Tim yeah, Roth yeah, in yeah. it. No, it was much better with Tim Roth, and you know, <laughs> also also directed by Mike Michael uh, Haneke. Yeah. Right, which is... Um, it's weird to see a... A shot for shot remake and then watch the yes. original. Oh, yeah, right. You got w reverse. I got the, the, yeah, the right. I got, yeah, I got the, the, the sloppy seconds. Yes, because uh, at least in my opinion, the, the, the American one is inferior in many aspects. Uh, But I guess. Aren't all American, thing, American things inferior to oh, just no, German engineering in general? <laughs> or Austrian uh, engineering oh, for yeah. another one? <coughs> Austrian engineering does exist, yeah. But. <laughs> But, <coughs> <coughs> oh, Jesus. Um, yeah, no, it's, um, uh, the, 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 the difference is blatant, even though it's a shot-by-shot -shot remake. Yeah, no, it, it has American, it, it, like it's Americanized. Like, Americans look good. Yeah, and, uh, it's the Americanized, good. It, it's Americanized through the eyes, the wife was played by Naomi Watts. Yes, exactly. Um, it was Americanized through the lens of an Austrian man. Yes. So whatever he, whatever that Austrian dude might was live, very stereotypical. Yeah, it's yeah. just, you know, it is what it is. It wasn't terrible. Yeah, but, you know, it, wasn't it, great, it, 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 it translates because, you know, we both. Both countries, Austria and the U.S., have very rich white posh people. Yeah, rich white posh people. Yeah. A history of things I will not speak at this moment. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's. Uh, how we? All right. So what are we going to talk about? Yes. Funny so the, games, fir the, fir this, the first, the first, the first movie. <laughs> the first subject is going to be plot. Okay. And um, you weren't really happy. I no. got the feeling. I don't know. I'm no, it was fine. It's just <laughs> it's weird. Where it, just watching white privilege in general, whether it be Austrian or American, it's just very like <laughs> these are the, th this is their this, problems. Yes, this is their problems. Yeah, not being able to defend yourself. Yeah, like, like not standing up for yeah, yourself. Yeah, you, you never go hungry. You know, never have like that car was. Expensive it was a back fucking then. Land Rover from yeah. fucking like 95, 96. It was yeah. like, you know, top of the lawn type yeah. shit. Yeah. And they dragged a boat. Yes. Like, you know, the whole opening shot is them just driving to I don't even know. Austrian Hamptons. And because that means that they have another place where they can use that boat. Yeah. That's no, the logic yeah. behind mm -hmm. that. So they have at least two places because they are probably from Vienna or something like that. One of the more. Most likely. Yeah. More. more, more More posh, more, more po rich, yes, upper they, at least middle they class, have, yes, upper, they, they upper have class. more of that. They have more of that, yes. 
So I'm guessing they they because Vienna you don't really you can swim in the Danube I guess but that's lame. Nigga, you speak in a different language. Um, yeah, that's the, <laughs> that's the big that's the big ass river that goes. No, that makes that makes yeah. sense. Oh, thank you for that for uh, for Americanizing that. Fucking <laughs> no, like but the plot of this film is. I try my best. Is a family going on vacation to what I would describe as Austrian, um, Austrian Hamptons. Yes, and they're uh, they pretty much they get politely home invaded. <laughs> yes, and it just yes. proceeds and keeps yes. going. Yes, and they keep being polite, almost with no resistance at all. <laughs> like, the, like I don't know, like this yeah. movie. They were scared shitless. It, though. The problem I have with this movie is the same problem I have with uh, the movie yeah. I was talking about with you, The Room, which yeah. came out last year, and it won. I think it won Best Picture actually. Yeah. But it just I cannot suspend the disbelief of a person not fighting. For and what like is the theirs. breaking point, the breaking point of each character is so so far. Back. Yeah, it's like come on, like, man. because they all have breaking points. All three three home invaded people have the, their breaking points in the movie. Yeah. But the it's way too way too late. Like the father is only. Then when no, he's his, already really injured. His breaking point when his knee gets broken. <laughs> broken. Yeah, it's like that's his breaking point, and he's yes. kind of taking out the film. Yeah, he, no, he he relaxed. So oh yeah, long. like he was just lamping the yeah. whole film. Yeah, like I don't he know. He was chilling the whole time. My least favorite character is mm -hmm. the father. He yeah. was so. Can can she pull up the seat? It's all good, baby. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right, baby. It's all right. That was the plot. The plot was fun. It was, yeah. it was fun. Um, what is? It, what else do we have to talk about? Uh, oh, no, okay, so so okay, we're moving through this quickly. Nice, um, because normally the plot takes like up twenty minutes. No, the, the plot is very yeah. linear. It's very yes. simple. It's yes. like yeah. Well, you have you have the time traveling aspect and all that <laughs> stuff. That's one scene though. Yeah, it's like but it's a huge chunk of the movie because you never see that in an American movie. You never have like. Except if it's a comedy or something like that, yeah. You like don't, you click, never, um, yeah, like click exactly. You never have like a, a serious no, where like a serious, serious home invasion movie. Like you don't have to purge where, where like, the movie's broken. Like yes. it, it starts to break its own rules exactly. of just being a movie. And it yes. re it rewinds itself. That that um, I didn't like that part because <laughs> I enjoy I, that part so much. No, it was like yeah. I'm waiting for these people to take control of this fucking situation, and then she finally right does. when they get it, yeah, it's all reneged on by a person doing something from Click basically, yeah. or where Click got there pretty much their whole premise from is like you could rewind the whole world. That would be actually really fun if that was a, sl a, sl a slasher film, and it's just mm -hmm. uh, what's his face, Adam Sandler. Yeah, Adam Sandler. Killing uh, <laughs> uh, the the what, what's his name the his boss uh, oh Baywatch, um, Baywatch dude oh David Hasselhoff yeah it, he just the Hoff. he just kills David Hasselhoff that would have been way better and that movie uh, yeah no like I don't know I don't know I don't but know we're getting maybe. derailed we, we we should stick to yeah, yeah. no like let's t like you, you brought the click axe but. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it didn't break the movie for me. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like I was waiting for these people to take control, and they yes. never did. It's like my favorite character in the film is fucking the kid. The kid has the most ball. Like yes. he has the most yes. balls. He that kid, that kid, he is, yeah. is is way better than his parents. Way better. And and, and like the 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 home invader underestimate him. Oh yeah, because he's for a, kid. a good chunk of the movie. Well, you know, he he also couldn't climb like really short fences. <laughs> yes, like he could have. Like that was, I don't know. That was that was a great scene though. Like he he tried to run away. Well, he successfully ran away. Uh huh. Like he, his goal no, was he to got snatch. Away. He, his goal was to snatch that gun, and he snatched that gun. Yeah, but he didn't load it, and that's like a whole another issue. Yeah, um, and that's you know. I mean, Again, and then it, it it was used against him later. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And they end up taking out their biggest it threat. It literally backfired on him. I don't know, man. <laughs> like these two very lanky, very not imposing yeah. Austrian men. Yes. One with like pretty much booty shorts on. Like my son had like <laughs> oh yeah, Daisy he Dukes was, on. He was, but he had the legs for it. He had the leg. I don't <laughs> give a shit. I don't give a fuck about his legs and like. None of they're, they are they are they are okay. Just for the listener as a mental image, it's 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 short shorts, right? Like you, very short shorts. Like yes. the pockets are showing at the bottom. Short shorts. shorts. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and like they're cut. white and they're nicely cut, so they accentuate. Are you? Are you? 
like an advocate for these shorts right now, bro? Like, I'm are the you right, with it? I'm, I'm like, the have you you've wore you've wore shorts like that before, but <laughs> oh. she don't have the legs for it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, just I'm just you know I'm jealous. Yeah, fucking leg envy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm. I'm Fuck your shorts. Uh, I would. I wish I had, I had those legs, man. No, man. Ah, so so lanky. No, ah. no. Like overall, like I like this movie. The plot is very interesting. It's yeah. very linear. There's a big saggy titty in the middle of it. Like once this, this a pair of titties. Yep. No, 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 no. Her titties were amazing. Her oh, titties okay. were amazing. Those Hershey kiss nips. Those Hershey kiss nips, baby. It's all just right, like all right, all right. Great areolas. Yeah. Like you know, you, you, showing you were, through you, you were approving of those titties. Yeah, I was very approving of those titties. Like, because I'm it's Austrian movies, and Austrian movies tend to uh, show the titties. Yes. Sure. That's like it's an, all about the titty game. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> it's all about that titty game. So. Yeah. It it proves to increase viewership. Um, and you can show them in Austrian TV, so yeah. they don't have to censor around that. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> and the dog is like having a dream. Yeah. The dog's like literally having a dream. <laughs> and he's That's laughing. Yeah, like, it's hilarious. Yeah. I don't know if you if the, the microphone picks that up, but if it does. It's like rem like the dog's yeah. in REM sleep. You can see it. It's about to yeah. start doing this shit. Oh, yeah, oh wait, this is an audio best, podcast. You don't see me. Yes. <laughs> but no, um, we're gonna show pictures of it later on the, on the website. Uh, is I just have a hard time sp yep. suspending my disbelief with people allowing themselves to be overrun so easily. Right. It's yes. Like, no. Yeah. Yeah. A black film would not allow that to happen. <laughs> it would be a much yeah, different no, film, no, and that like sounds cliche, but they, it's just if true. If they home invaded like Shaft, Shaft would just oh kill boy, them. my nigga. Shift like Shaft would have shafted them like two minutes. Like in. the kid got away for a bit, and I actually was like, that one liner with Shaft? Huh? You got shafted or something like that? No. While he pushing down it's by like, the no. down a Shaft. It's like you drive, motherfucker. Uh, it's like yeah, it was like yeah. some not Shaft. Good. It's like, oh, like it's real black yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, real exploitation of the black makeup. <laughs> yeah. No, but the kid, he got away at one point. I thought it was going to yeah. turn into Home Alone for a little bit. Yes. But it did not. He did some Austrian parkour. He did some Austrian parkour, <laughs> which is a lot of falling. Yeah. A it's lot of falling. It's just dropping. Dropping. It's yeah, just dropping. dropping. It's letting gravity do the work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's the lazy man's parkour. <laughs> you know, I don't know, yeah. man. Like... The kid's the best character. He got dudded halfway through the film, and then you just watch these two people meander and get caught. Like, like I, it, I was not. They were, in, they were in a perpetual cycle of being, being weak, being weak ass, weak ass, ass bit, like yeah. weak ass bitch ass. Yes, nigga. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Sure. This is the first time sure. nigga was said on this podcast. Oh yes, I'm definitely. Gonna say it a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna say go, nigga. Go ahead. It's already a rated R. So on iTunes. So nice. Yeah. Of course, like we we use language, cause language all the time. So please go ahead. And I'm comfortable. <laughs> oh no 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 no! I get, I get arrested for that shit. <laughs> no sorry. All right. Okay. So uh, let's move on to the next next point of the of of our uh, podcast, and that is cinematography. Cinematography. Yes. Um. You want to kick it off? You'll kick it off and I'll pick it up. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I think, like, the uh, the, the shots at the beginning, like, the, 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 the around the slopes, mm -hmm. or serpentines, mm -hmm. I guess, that was really nicely done, especially back then. You didn't have a drone or something to shoot No, that. you had to have you a helicopter have to, you have to have a, Yeah, and yeah. helicopters are a bit uh, a tad expensive. It, it, it reminded me of the opening shot from The Shining. Like, oh yeah, yeah totally. Just following the car, just a car into commercial. madness. Just a car commercial. Yeah, just a, a very far away <laughs> car, car commercial. commercial. Yeah, yeah. It's like I can't even tell what kind of car this yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I thought that was pretty well done, especially for comparing it to other, like most Austrian movies would shy away for for such a huge investment into into one shot. That makes sense. Yeah, so that's really nice to see in an Austrian movie, and. Uh, 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 it's all made, uh, still done on film, which at some s at, at some points looks really amazing. No, like it's like once you get past that opening aerial shot and yeah. you get inside the car, I said it like, oh, this is shot on film. Yeah, because it looks exactly, like a record yeah. scratch. It's like a bunch of fucking like 
like anonymous things just yes. going through the frame. Yes. But it has nothing to do with what's going on. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, oh, this is film. Yeah. Which is always nice to see. Like, you know, we live in an era where film is not Dying coveted. Off it, it's a bit. You know, there's a very it's a very selective amount of directors yes. that only use film. Mm-hmm. And it's Nolan, Tarantino, and really no one else. Yeah, and Austria is crippled by cheap cameras. Yeah, digital well, cameras. Mean us? No, they're so much so much cheaper. So Austrian movies always try to move to cut corners somewhere. So did Dogma ninety five starting? Hmm? Did Dogma ninety five start in Austria at all? Ninety six. Uh, the the like it was oh, yeah yeah that, that like was Lars the, and that whole like you know shooting style of like shooting on digital cameras. And uh, yeah, but around two thousand two two thousand three. Two thousand three. Yeah, it was like on I a time it delay. Earlier. It was on a time delay. Time in Austria. delay. Yeah. Okay. That it that it showed up. Uh, Okay. Like we had some extra rolls apparently of film laying around. Like yeah, just shoot on that shit. <laughs> yeah. Let's get it's rid of all this. Like, yeah, all exactly. This stuff. So the cinematography. Yeah. Uh, what did you think? Like something that you found exceptional or uh, did, like other that, than that popped out for you? Because you you have you have a certain background. Oh yeah. So well, that, you know, yeah. I'm an actor, writer, director, right? Stand up comedian. Yes. Um, the the uh, the new uh, <laughs> the new version of dancing singing yeah and, the triple threat yes, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 that's like, the modern triple threat I don't need to sing I don't need to dance I yeah. just do these things for fun yeah <laughs> yeah no but I light my dick on fire it's really hilarious oh man my pubes they'll never grow back the same you way. don't have pubes I saw it already <laughs> oh boy you don't gotta share these things in public bro <laughs> yeah, I got it off this is personal. I won't. <laughs> no, um, yes. No, fucking, um, as far as the opening shot, everything else really didn't, nothing really stood out as yeah. far as, okay. you know, nothing like, I didn't, nothing was like, oh man, nothing was a standout as far yeah. as how it was shot for the rest of the movie. Because right. really, they're only in one location for the majority yeah. of the film. So, right. like, and they didn't really get creative with that. Yeah. They, maybe the one shot that I found interesting, and I was like, oh, this is a well, this yeah. is a Wells um, framed shot and it's well blocked. Yeah, is after the the son gets his head shot off, right? And then you dealing with the wife, and she's in shock, and you see the legs of the husband. You see the legs of the husband. Yes. So it's it almost played out that one scene played out like a stage play. Like yes, it, things were revealed. It looks like a stage. Yeah, yeah, with time. Like yeah. you thought the husband's dead, and yeah. then after she gets up and turns off the TV, he kneels up, yeah. starts sobbing like a little bitch. I hate that, yo. I hated the husband in this movie. Like, I really did not like him. Like, I can't wait to get it to our notes because, think, like, half of my notes again, is just it, again, fuck he's, him. he's like an anti thesis to, 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 like, an American superhero. Or it's just a. Even the, the guy Ameri- even not the American to say everyday man. Like, like, the, like Bruce Willis in, in, in Die Hard. He's like an, an everyday Have a few man. Laughs, couple and drinks, yeah. visit the coast. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Well, he's not the everyday man, though. I wouldn't call Bruce Willis in Die Hard the everyday man. He's a no. cop. Well, he comes but, but, all, he comes off slubby compared yes. to his his counterparts like yes, Stallone. Back, yes, back then. Arnie, against, um, Arnie, uh, Arnie, Seagal. Yeah, yes, even Van Damme. He comes yes. off slubby. Yes, but like you know, yeah. And he was short, and he had the losing hair, and, and he had a thinning hairline. Yeah. I get exactly. you that. So, so, so he and he's the antithesis of that. Like he's the posh. Rich dude that in most f- films turns out to be like the saving guy, mm-hmm. like the sh- knight in shining armor. And this this time he's just a bitch. I like that you say antithesis because it's, to me I, I call it antithesis. Oh yeah, it's from the German for the because it's the same word antithesis. Uh, antithesis. <laughs> antithesis. Antithesis. Um, antithesis. Antithesis. Oh wait, antithesis. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, right. cinem- no, nothing really stood out in All right. as far as the cinematography. Oh, that's fine. Thing. That's fine. No, yeah. No, no, no. But still, you know, serviceable. It drives no, the, it it drives the movie. Enjoy. No, it, didn't, it wasn't distracting. I'll yes. say that much. Yeah, it wasn't overwhelming, but it wasn't and distracting. And it didn't flash its stuff no, like no, no, no. bullshit, like, like weird graphics or, or, or any, like, I think there was no digital effect in no, this movie. No, not in 97. No need. Not for this type yeah, of thing. Right. No, but like, also, one thing I will also say, like, there's like, around maybe like the 20 minute mark, there's yeah. a scene of the father and son on the boat 
and then the director Michael decides to do a cut uh, a cutaway to the knife. Yes. Which usually in film that ends yes. up being like this is the thing that will save Pavlo, the day. Pa- Pavlov's gun. Pavlov's well yeah. Chekhov's gun. Chekhov's gun. Chekhov's right. gun. Pavlov's gun. Pavlov's dog. dog. Yeah. Pavlov's dog. dog you motherfucker. <laughs> I right? got my Russian confused. Talking about dogs. Yes. He got deaded in his film. Oh, yes. yes. They, don't, they didn't shy away from that at all. Like, that was minute 12 they or something. They put him in the driver's seat. And it was just yeah. Like, yeah. It was like, no, we gotta get rid of the no, dog. No, in the back seat. Was it the back seat? I think yeah. the swore is the front seat. Like, uh, um, who, I, I, who gives I wouldn't, a shit I, I wouldn't fight on, uh, you on that. No, no, no. I don't but it's also the moment that she realizes that there's no clicker anymore for the gate. That's no, why. That's why. That that, that's why she didn't go for the gate to right, begin right, with. Right, right, or drive away with yes, the car. Yes, exactly. Right, right, right. Because she kn- knew they already meddled with the car. Right, right. But no, like that. That whole knife, deuce, deuce ex machina. Yeah. Like, oh, this is the thing to save the day. Ex. Fuck you! <laughs> Don't you fucking correct me, bro. Yo, bra, bra. Yeah, bra, bra. Yeah, bra, bra. All right. No, no, nah, nah, bra, bra. All right. right. But no, they show the knife later yep. and ends up being completely useless. Because yeah, no, it this gives you hope. It gives you hope until the last hope? second. It gives me yes, g- yes. It does give me hope. Yeah. So did someone getting shotgun in the chest, yeah, and then it got that, rewind. Yeah, that's after that. The kind of but all the rules kind of go out the window after that. Point. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they 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 should have introduced and lost the knife before the gunshot. That would have been a more natural evolution of yes. Or, yeah, exactly. Like go for for the natural stuff and then introduce them as gods, basically. Because that's what they are. They they they, like they, co- they, con- they control the universe with a remote. They but that even that seemed haphazard. Like he just it wasn't like it, he had a special remote in his pocket. Yeah. He just picked up the remote that was yeah. for the TV and was that's, like, that's oh a, wait, I can take all this. Back. That's a fucking huge bonus. Like how many TVs are there with those rich people? Like with there's a rem- there's a remote those everywhere. Those universal remotes. Yeah. Like he's using the one for, for, for the car or something like that and rewinds with that. Like he, he gets the, the stuff everywhere. Yeah, so they are basically gods. <laughs> but let's move on to the like cinematography, serviceable, some some kind of interesting things, but not overall, outstand- all, yeah. overall not a standout. Not a standout, yeah. but serviceable to what they were trying to get done. Right on, right on. So let's move on to the next point, and that's going to be music. No. I'll just say no. I'll say no right now. Like the opening, like after the, <laughs> the opening aerial shot, and then yeah. they start to do the credits, like the opening credits. I'm like, what is this? This is Exper- bad. It's experimental metal. Experimental metal. Yeah. Keep it in the fucking lab. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. You like, shouldn't release it. Because this. I heard that song three times with this movie. Yeah. It was at the opening credits. Yeah. And then they played it on a CD in they the house. Saved on, they saved on 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 on, on a music rides. budget. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> like the music. What, what was the uh, but the guessing game at the at the at the beginning about the different uh, composers from mm-hmm. from like you know all that opera stuff. They 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 that that established them as you know being as a certain group of people. I feel like you're trying to upsell me on something right now. <laughs> I am not with this movie. I, I have a, tw- I, I I have a 12 not. volume collection of the, the Funny Games soundtrack. You piece of shit, you. <laughs> this is a paid promotion. <laughs> I'll say this. I'll Michael say this. I'll it's say this. Vinyl. Yep. Towards music. I saw a big collection of CDs in this film. Yes. Which dates it and makes yes. it feel like this is from 1997. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Like so much. That stood out. Yeah. Everything else, that one... Experimental <laughs> metal, yeah. yeah. Nah, I'm nah. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. And not because I don't like other types of music. It yeah. just just like grading on me. So I guess, what do you think about the absence of music? Because most of the film doesn't have any suspense It'll, music yeah. or anything. It allows the tension to build, and it you know it, it was necessary for something like this. Yeah, was so. And it, it reminded like me the of the Strangers, that horror from the Strangers. Right. Yeah. Yes. Where it's like the absence of music yes. is kind of the the, the right. fucking the, the sound of the whole yeah. movie. Right. Except for that one eerie song. The eerie song in this movie yes. was like. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> ah! yeah exactly. Yeah. Just yelling and, and and loud metal music. That's just and not even good of, one. Yeah, that's the type of music you make after a bunch of Jews died in your country. It's just like. <laughs> It is though. Like it, I'm sorry. But <laughs> it's so sad because that's it's the true. sound that the Jews are making. Oh Jesus Christ! In the fucking ovens. <laughs> and now, oh, 
there's yeah, so many there's so totally many of, there's so many of them jokes in Austria. <laughs> it's it's not even guy. funny. It's not I even funny how a, many. I just made a Jews in the oven joke and I'm so mad at myself, man. That's so <laughs> hack. It's so hack. It's 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 the, the comedian's easy button. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That was easy. Yeah, that you found that, that was, was e- easy. Ah! Okay. <laughs> this is turning into an experimental podcast. That's what it is. <laughs> like I have to cut around that shit. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I'm I'm, I'm always releasing the whole thing. I don't care. Uh yes. Don't stand on your laurels now. No. Um, <laughs> music, music did not stand yeah. out. I'm sorry. Right. It was. Yeah. Moving on. All right. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we're going into the more interesting stuff, and that is best moment. Ooh. Yes, like a more of a thinker kind of thing. Uh-huh. Yes. Huh, best moment. May I look through my notes? Real sure, quickly? sure. Rifle best through. moment. Not that. Because not I, that. I already kind of gave away what my best moment is. What is your and best? The rewind. The, the rewind. Okay. I love the rewind because it, the, the, the first time I watched it, I was so surprised by that the guy getting a belly full of buckshot and seeing all of it. Because mm-hmm. normally Austrian movies don't get from that intense to that gory that quickly, mm-hmm. and then him pulling the rug up off under you, off under you, rug up from under you, up from under you. Yeah. Yes, thanks. So, yeah, that is a that is a gymna- a yeah. verbal gymnastics. Session, yes, so. and uh, yeah, he does that and rewinds the in in the movie he rewinds the movie and yeah. Just Tom, no Jerry, Jerry being saving Peter Tom. J- J- Jerry and saving saving Tom. Yeah, yeah. My name's Paul. I'm I'm still weirded out by that. Oh, <laughs> yes. well, you're you're gonna shoot up a school. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope this doesn't come to fruition. Yes. Um, uh, if the if the NSA is listening, I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that. No, you're doing the right things in there. Listen, you're doing the right. Things. Let's yeah. see. Um, if I had to pick a favorite moment from this film, oh boy, it's yeah. a t- it's a tough one for me. Really? It's a tough because one. you don't like any. No, the characters scene. are not particularly likable. Any of them? Oh, um, that's 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 also a goal, I guess, guess of the movie I'll to s- make everyone despicable I'll to a certain degree, except for the kid. The kid's my favorite character. Is he my yeah. favorite part? You know what? Here, how about this? Yes, because he's my favorite character. Yeah. My favorite scene is when the son got his head blown off by it, which, <laughs> shot him. And which which happens off screen. Yes, but it's like they just killed any chance of surviving the situation when yes. they killed that kid. Oh yeah. That, so that is like because that's yes. the that's the tipping point for me. Oh yes. But okay. did I did I was I happy about him dying? No. But it shows that all hope is lost, lost. Yes. when this kid is. It, it is like a definitive. Yeah. Line, like, because up that point, up to that point, only the dog died. And they just one guy got hurt. Yeah, one so knee like, smashed. Like the the escalation was, well, that escalated quickly. Right. Yeah. yeah. So that's my favorite moment. Okay. Which sound like it sounds dark and it sounds fucked up. Oh it is. But it, <laughs> no, but it, it pushes the story along. Oh yes. So that's my favorite. Like moment. with a very well. Like push. with a shotgun blast, <laughs> yeah. like yeah. push it to the face of a of a fucking of kid. Yeah, yeah you kid. never see that fa- kid's face You'll again. Never, yeah. There is no face to be seen. Oh. Yes. <laughs> it's gone. No, you see it. It's all over the wall. <laughs> and the TV. Microphone. Face off, man. Yeah, face off. No face on, just face off. Face off. Yeah, that's 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 a very hardcore Austrian version of a facial scrub. <laughs> <laughs> Need some buckshot. Yeah. I, oh boy, I use n- Nivea buckshot. It's it's more gentle on the bone structure. I'm going to go to hell for saying this. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. That's that's I'll like every that's house. like everybody on the podcast. So, oh, good. I'm in good. I'm in good company. You're, you're in very right. good company. Right, yes, right. yes. You're not the only one who burns. So, uh, a special um, uh, episode uh, uh, because this is yeah, um, rewind like the movie. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So, um, a special segment for this episode alone and for you to rant on about a bit more, and that's white people. Oh, white people. White people. Like, there are, like, I wrote the word white 
down in my notes <laughs> more than I thought I would. But I think even I got to the end. Yeah. Even my last note is just the words white, white, white people. people. <laughs> right? Because it's like white <laughs> privilege is a motherfucker. It will it will make you not fight for the protection of your family. Yes. Because you think everything's hunky fucking dory. Yes. Because it's all sweet. And the worst thing is, for the most part, for a good part of that population, it is. It is. Yes. It is. It, it, it is. It yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. Nine. We're doing so well for yeah. ourselves. Oh. So tight. Yeah. No, no, fuck. Uh, <laughs> no, you right. this made us rich. Yeah. <laughs> Manifest destiny, you motherfuckers. Right. Yeah. But no, like, just, like, watching white people be in a situation that they don't know how to deal with because they've never been, they've never had to deal with hostility. Yes, in, ever. Almost in any fashion. Yeah, like, the most, it's, okay, so the, it's so, painful. Okay, so the most rude that you get, like, as a cliche in Austria, is Viennese uh, cafe baristas. Nice. They are the, they are the, like, they are, they are, contentious like they like they they come up to you whenever they feel like it and if you like uh, like please service or something you yell something out then you get maybe something out of it maybe five or ten or fifteen minutes mm -hmm. you don't know you don't know it's it's a fucking mystery <laughs> you don't know it's a fucking mystery <laughs> no seriously i i try to like because austrian cafes are so nice and the coffee is really good people come back like the service is like they crawl up your ass here in the US, yeah. But mm. this is like an a whole nother level. Yes, they 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 are they they don't give a fuck, and you still tip them. Are you talking <laughs> about Austrian baristas? <laughs> yeah, oh, and and like yeah, that's the main thing. Or Do like they have baristas like in Austria. Yeah, we have like Austria because of the Turkish. The Austrian were the first Western nation to have coffee. I don't like that you're so proud of where you're from. It, it upsets me. Yeah, we, you know Austrian history oh, is fucking Austrian. Like we had, <laughs> we had a few very, 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 very shameful periods. Oh, as white people. I wish I can say the thing that you said at the experiment <laughs> the other night. <laughs> you remember what you said? Oh, what what did I say? Uh, I don't I don't remember. Please please recap. I missed the race wars in Germany. <laughs> Like no, that was Austria. one of the funny in Austria. Like <laughs> yeah. yo, that was one of the funniest things. <laughs> like ever. we didn't have one in like sixty years. In sixty years. Yeah, you had like one like yesterday. Every week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because black lives kind of matter. It sh should very much matter. Yes. Um, if it has to be said, do they matter? That ends up kind of being <laughs> the point of my argument of a lot oh, of things. Actually, really funny thing. Uh, there was like a few years back. There was a, a, a like a. a bigger election going on and the Green Party like for inclusion had a black guy on the poster mm -hmm. but that black guy never was part of the Green Party like everybody else was a member of the Green Party and they like for the black guy some black guy like yeah. this yeah. Like, like Lando looking like Lando Calrissian yes and exactly like I'm, I'm, in the white, I'm with the white guys <laughs> that, the taking it back to yeah. the movie right yes. This like this is a hashtag called Black Lives Matters. I don't know yeah. if you know about this Austria because oh, yes. oh, you don't have you have very second largest viewership is the US. So cool, yeah, right. But there is no such thing as a, a, a hashtag called White Lives Matters. You know why? Because <laughs> it's not necessary. It doesn't to say out loud. Yeah, we already got it. Yeah, matter. Yeah. See, so like when I watch a movie out of, of a bunch of white people. <laughs> Murdering other white people. You, yeah, you're like, nah. like even this is privilege. Yeah, <laughs> even this, it's so easy for them, for the white people to kill the they other white people. They make it so easy. easy. Yeah, I could, I could stab a motherfucker in Austria so easily so, without fail. Yeah, without fail. Yeah, like we had like serial killer. We didn't have that like one one Austrian right wing racist uh, terrorist like in the nineties. So many things. He, he yeah. <laughs> He's like, so oh, he's, he's, he's so well integrated. <laughs> and and he was a certified genius, too. And, of course he was. And psychopath. No, because that's what happens. Yo, <laughs> I'm sorry. When you get smart, yeah, you got the world starts to look very not big anymore. Yeah, that's the problem with Austrian, uh, uh, the, the, like, free education system. Like, <laughs> you get some psychopaths through the system that get very well educated. I'm talking to one. Yeah. <laughs> the way that Paul was talking about guns <laughs> while we were watching guns on screen was just like, you're going to shoot up a college one day and you didn't even go to that college, bro. Uh, I don't I don't need to shoot up a college. Like I 
Can you shoot up a town? Yeah. Yeah. Why yeah, why man. aim small? Yes, exactly. Go big. <laughs> Find a bell tower. Yes. And just kill. Yes. Yes. Get get like a like a Gustav rocket launcher or something like that from the Austrian army. <laughs> Guys, this keep note of this because this will be on permanent record. <laughs> so when this actually happens, it's, it's like this nigga called it out. The first nigga on his podcast <laughs> called this shit the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be an Austrian first. <laughs> cheers to that, my friend. Yeah, cheers. As we cheers, like, a couple beers from Holland. Yes. Mm. Oh. Yes, so, <laughs> I guess um, we ranted enough about white people. Oh, white people. Oh, you you still have no. Like, I, I'm yeah. gonna let I'm gonna I'm gonna let it go for now. For Until now. I leave the for house now. and yeah. I want to talk to my sister. You're Bucket's gonna. Over there. Oh yeah, you're gonna you're gonna really lay into oh, it. Oh boy. Wait, did you imagine hold back? This sh- Look, did you hold back for me? Bro, imagine this shit I say when you're not around. I, I I wish I could imagine that, but it doesn't exist in my head because I have no idea what's what would happen. You've heard most of it. You've heard most. of it. <laughs> I'll just elaborate more. No, like eighty percent of the truth. Yeah, look, you didn't nah. give me a Larry Wilmore 100. I am not keeping it 100 with you, my friend. Even that show got canceled. Like, oh, yeah, that right. got canceled so quick. Can I get? Can I say one personal story real quick? Sure, go ahead. I wanted to write for Nightly Show really bad, a show on Comedy Central. Oh, so good. Guys, so, okay, so because only ahead. the Daily Show is really a thing. Yeah, because Trevor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, so um, that was after the Daily Show, basically. The Nightly Show? Yeah, that yeah, was. Yeah. Uh, it's, after a, it's a show that took over for Stephen Colbert. Yeah, exactly. For the Colbert, Colbert Report. got so much money. Well, he went to CBS to go take over for David Letterman. Yes, but I actually was in the uh, in in the, the audience, audience? Uh, for David Letterman like the a last few show? years. No, no, a few oh, okay. years back. The second of Nyack was the guest. Don't count. No, I was on the screen. I did the fist bump thing. Pump thing. I did the fist pump I thing. I did the fist pump <laughs> thing. <laughs> I'm pumping the fist. It feels so good. <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> no, but... Um, because I'm re- I out-German you with my accent, or... <laughs> no, I can't do a German accent. <laughs> okay. like, this is very true, yeah. I'm not even going to do it anymore. <laughs> now I'm just going to give up. Now I'm done. All right. Well, no, I yeah, ran... Yeah, story. I Sorry. ran... I ran... Um, I really wanted to write for Nightly Show. Right and, on. um... I got to meet Larry Wilmore... Wow. At the comedy cellar in New York City. Oh, so cool. And I took I found a moment. I walked over yeah. to him. I was like, Mr. L- Mr. Wilmore, I just yeah. want to say my name is Pockets. And I'm working shut up. Don't you fucking laugh at that. Right? And I'm working really hard to get a writing job on your show. Right. And he goes, Oh, that's good. Yeah. Da, 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 da. The next morning, nightly show got fucking canceled off oh, the air. Like, uh, the next day, yo. Uh, your timing was off. My timing was so off. Uh, and also, I'm so I felt sorry like for I, you. I felt like he knew about it already. Uh, like, he uh, knew that the show's already canceled when uh, I walked up to him and said it. Did he... I didn't watch the last few episodes. Did he go f- full in? Like, nah, because they got an abrupt ending. Really? They, they had, like, they in. had one week left. Oh, so, man. like, every episode of that week was, like, big. Yeah. But after that, it was done. Oh, that's so sad. Because I really enjoy Larry Wilmore. I love I, Larry. I, I hated that he bombed at the... Uh, no, he didn't bomb. He didn't bomb at the... At the at people the, were assholes to Because he said he called the president my nigga. Yeah, like, that's awesome, though. It is awesome. Like, uh, that's that's breaking some kind of barrier, I guess. No, it's not even breaking a barrier. Like, yo. No, that n- never got... N- saying it in public. Yeah. Yes, right? Yeah. But, yo, when, Le- yo, when but, uh, the car Obama is chilling with fucking LeBron James. Right. Like, it's a bunch of niggas flying around. <laughs> like, nigga... KD don't got nothing on you. Mm-hmm. Like it's like a bunch of that, right? But it's behind closed door shit. You don't even know how hard it is for me to hold back. Say like, the word. Nigga. Yes, because in Austria it no, doesn't have. It does. You are not allowed. You don't yeah, have exactly. enough black people where exactly. you come from. Exactly. That's why I'm holding back. Yeah. No. Because yeah. look, Puerto Ricans, right? Puerto yeah. Ricans ain't nothing but niggas. Oh, really? Got to swim. Okay. Right. All right. So they're allowed to say it. Right. Right. Especially because you grew up in the hood. Yeah. Like, look, a white per- like if you grew up in the Bronx. <laughs> okay. Like, if yes. you literally grew up in the Bronx, right. you would have the leeway to say nigga to really? us. That's the, that's the cutoff? Yeah. No, because you grew up in the hood. All right. If you grew up predominantly with, surrounded by black and Spanish people, right. guess what? You pretty much are black but, and Spanish. Wh- let's say what percentage are we talking about of, like in your friend circle? Is 70, 80 percent black? I don't know anymore. That one's a lo- that one's lost on me. I, I don't even know, bro. Yeah. 
I'm so all over the place at this point. Ah, uh, okay. I also just farted. I'm still farting. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, gassing an Austrian. That's 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 ironic, I guess. It's on the nose. <laughs> oh, the it's lungs. on the nose. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> it's on that it. big <laughs> nose. <laughs> yeah, that's the Italian. So with everything said, yes, funny people. Oh wait, funny, funny games. Oh funny. fuck! Ah, oh. <laughs> that's talk about that I terrible would... John Abbott's house. Oh. <laughs> um, oh, fu- I enjoy funny people. Up until like the hundred and twelve. Yeah, it's too. It's way it's too, too long. long. It's, it's too way. Long. If they cut it like four, okay, we're going off. Yeah, topic. we're getting off. Funny this, games. This, this this podcast is already pretty long again. Uh, how long? That's is it what right she. Now? That's we're, what she said. Push Come on. Yes. Okay, Michael from the <laughs> office. That's what she says. The fuck up. Wait, how long is it right now? Uh, it's we're around forty minutes. You, whenever you're ready. All we're, right. We no. So that, 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 yeah, that's that's exactly, and that's in the, that's the last. It's the final conclusion. You wanna? Please give me give me a your fun, rap. A funny game. A funny game. The yeah. original. And in co- and then maybe in comparison to to the American remake. The American remake. Yeah, I'll say this. All right. I don't like reading subtitles. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the American, American one is superior. No, no, no. So no, no. American. The American one is so superior because I don't have to read. No. I even have to read subtitles sometimes from other German-speaking people because their dialect is so hardcore that that I, that I barely understand them. Can you say antithesis for me? Ant- in the German one? Antithese. Antithesis. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, no. Yeah. The husband is... Antithesis. If, if, yeah. if, if it was a play, if it was a play on, you know, having a, a, a female heroine. Yes. Um, which it didn't really come off as. Yeah, because Naomi Watts was actually the main face on yeah. the American Yeah, because football. she's the selling point. Yes. Well, at that point anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Not to Tim put Roth. Tim Roth didn't do no, so well. He was no. like the bad guy in yeah. the, the Incredible Hulk, but, and that was it basically back then. I, well, back, well, I don't want to get into Tim <laughs> Roth's history. Right. <laughs> but no, fuck it. All right, so if I, I can pay, just juxtapose the yes. two movies against each other, it hits all the same beats. Right. It's just you know how everything when you bring something to an American audience. It's more polished. It's polished and it's also Americanized to whoever is directing. Yeah. So when you have an Austrian remaking his exact same work, yeah. but for an American audience, yeah. some things are lost in translation. Oh, yes. Without definitely. fail. Oh, yes. Definitely. It's like when you watch Old Boy yeah. and then fucking Spike Lee's Old Boy. No, like, you don't watch Spike Lee's Old Boy. You don't watch Spike Lee. That's, I, actually, that is the point. I actually refused because I watched that one in the, ori- the, the original one. Mm-hmm. I watched it in Which Korean. is almost pure perfection. Oh, it's so good. It's almost pure perfection. It's so good. He eats a lot of squid. I, I, was, I would be so happy if like some Austrian like tangentially uh-huh. worked with that movie mm-hmm. because that would be an excuse to have it on this podcast. That's how I love that movie. You just want to... I love Old Boy. For an Austrian and... An Austrian old boy would be fun too, I guess. I would, I would not watch that with a female instead of a guy, old, old woman, old, old girl. girl, old yeah. girl, old girl. Yeah, I would watch old girl. Altes Mädchen. That would be the German <laughs> translation. Oh God. Yeah. Anyway. Yes. You motherfucker. <laughs> Final conclusion. Yes. The original is better than the remake, but that's not. Yeah. Not that's not saying much. I don't feel. Um, I like the actors better. Yeah. In the original. Yes. Than the remake, but that is just yeah. it's like making a photocopy of a photocopy. Well, yes. Like you know you it, the law it dimin- the something. law of diminishing returns. Yes. So with that said, I like funny games. I hate white privilege. <laughs> I kind of did. I kind of come out yes. of this movie not hating white people a little bit more. Yes. No offense, white people in the room. Oh, it's fine. It's like you know, no harm. Especially Jul- yo, Julian's knocked the fuck out, right? <laughs> like, look, he didn't even hear that, right? Like, he looks like the bad guy from True Detective, season <laughs> one, like, yeah. <laughs> very right? good, very good. The comedian um, comes out. Yeah, no, very good. Funny Games, yes. the original, it's a good watch. Yes. But it's one of those things that you should only watch once. Yes. I feel. Well, yeah, I actually watched it now the second time. Mm-hmm. No, the third time. Fourth time? Fourth time if you count the American. Okay. Version. So I've watched that movie four times now. It was good the second time, like when I rewatched mm-hmm. this one. 
that was good but now eh also uh, I see it more of a deconstruction of horror movies in general mm -hmm. because it gives all the agency it takes all the agency away from from the victims and 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 it also takes away uh, like the humanizing factor of the villains because those villains are just plain evil right. like sometimes a horror movie is like a, oh no he was tortured as a yeah, kid yeah, or something, he, something and in this so in this in this version they they make fun of their original stories mm -hmm. like they make up four different versions of how they got to be what they uh, what they are and that's gods or as you said it could be like he's the writer of the movie yeah and he just wants to kill all of them and because he can and predicts everything and is the plot he's like Deadpool like an asshole version of Deadpool he can look at us through the like he yes he sees the audience watching him exactly yeah so, yeah it, he's through the looking glass yeah yeah so I see it more of an experimental thing mm -hmm. especially in Austrian movie which is rarely done doing something like this interesting with with that idea I mm -hmm. guess because it's very formulaic and it's a lot of comedies right. nowadays so I'm I'm kind of split on that. Like I could I could imagine this movie with uh, maybe maybe more time and 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 less 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 time in the movie. Like cut it down like to 120 or something. Mm -hmm. Like make it short. Right. Yeah. No, because there was a there's, a there's a big sad and I'm selling that film after yeah. the kid gets shot. It's like a big lull. Yes. Yes. And it's like almost like the fucking two antagonists it, are guess, giving like, them a chance to get away. My, my my idea is that Michael Haneke thought that this would be like uh, like giving the audience like a moment because you're in a cinema normally mm -hmm. is watching that movie, so right. you are stuck there and you get lulled until the next thing happens, which is the shotgun thing. Right. So I guess that's maybe a way to like take away the action completely and do do like an like a I don't know a more elaborate jump scare I guess because it wasn't a jump scare it was like a jump you who when she shot him yeah because you like, were like yes it, it, yes one it, it really that scene in itself before it got rewind right yeah. it relieves the tension of the movie so much because like oh these guys have a chance yeah. right but then they rewind it's like yes. you lose me again and it's just like you motherfucker yeah michael what the fuck bro <laughs> right i'm not mad at him because it's interesting to watch something yeah. like play with the tropes of film like that right like but it seems so ham-fisted in there yeah, it seemed like maybe maybe like the production company because you know you're really bound by them too in Austria. No, yeah, yeah. that they are you're maybe like yeah, this funders. this has to be more like a horror movie, less like an experimental thing. Mm -hmm. Fuck you guys, when like we you get this one thing in there and that's it. You get this one nugget. this one yeah. yeah this one nugget of being crazy, but that's it. Yeah, yeah. To play with the play with the genre yeah. itself. So you would watch it. You would recommend it to be watched once. Once. Probably in a dark room, with guys. Nah. Or would you make a drinking game out of it? What what's the genre, what's the setting that you would watch it in? Because it's, it has so much to do with white privilege. You have to watch it when the sun is at its highest point in the sky, so right. everything is bright. Yeah. So you <laughs> feel like a white person sure. if you're not a white person already. Jesus Christ. Right, and it will yeah. make it easier digestible because it's just okay. like you know, nothing really terrible happens in this movie. But when the terrible starts, it, it is terrible. It's really terrible. So yes. like you know, watching you don't have to watch it at night because it's not that type of movie that where yeah. the night would would emphasize the scare. Right. It's kind okay. of like watch like it's a movie that is watching like country clubs. It's a leisure slasher. It's a leisure slasher. Yeah. yeah. Like they are, that, they are, yeah, you just created a new terminology, yeah. and I don't like you for that. <laughs> Say that right now. Yeah, you want to shoot a movie in in the genre of leisure slashers? Leisure slashers. <laughs> like he's in he's in like loafers. an American Psycho. Yeah, he's like in loafers he's though, leisure. and and has like a pipe or something. <laughs> I hate you right now. Well, <laughs> so no, this 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 has been interesting. Yes. Thank you for coming. No, by thank the way. you for inviting me. Yes, I didn't know we had to watch a movie. Like it was like oh, that yeah. was a whole surprise. Yeah, no, you jumped into the pool like into the deep end. Oh yeah, yeah, what else? Yeah, yeah. Did, that's amazing. I, 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 I'm very happy about that. Thank you again for being here. Um, um yes, your plugs. Do now. I have plugs? Do you have plugs? Do I have plugs? Uh, I'm gonna t put them in the description, anyways. But you know, hit uh, me with it. Follow me on Twitter at Twitter I'm at Twitters. Also, oh, wait, did you just fucking make fun of the way I said Twitter? 
Sorry, man. You motherfucker. I'm sorry. Twitter at I'm Pockets. I thought it was a new thing, like Snapchat. I'm on. Like th- follow me on sweaters. Yeah, sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could, <laughs> fuck. It's no sweater Twitter. It's just sweat. photos of. of, of Twitter, Watch your sweater. Fucking, no. <laughs> it's the Bill Cosby app. Oh, that that doesn't work anymore, right? No, it works every time. Damn, okay. It works without. Zip it up. No, I shouldn't do it. Hello, Pony. My wife, Camille. Because he sounds from similar in the German version. <laughs> What? But he's translated. Like, he's stopped oh, in the okay, German that version. Sense, that makes sense. Yeah, but he's like, zip it up. Nigga, you fucking up my plugs. Okay, no, sorry. No, no, no. Yes, <laughs> plug away. Uh, follow me on Twitters. Uh, at I'm Pockets, letter I, letter M, Pockets. Nice. Yeah, Good I got pull. Good Thank pull. you. Thank you. You're like, I was surprised. Also, I'm Pocket is a word in the English language. I did not know that until I looked it up. Uh-huh. It's an old English word. For? Um, put, to put in one's pocket. <laughs> I'm Pocket. Yeah, it's so stupid. It's so oh, dumb. it's Einsacking in German. It still exists in German. Oh. Yeah. See, I'm a German word. Nice. I guess that's a terrible thing. Right? <laughs> You're a nigga. Yeah, I'm a nigga. Thank you. <laughs> right, no, but um, also I have a show, a web series that I've shot, produced, directed, and acted in. Right on. Coming out in October called Paradigm, spelled P-A-R-A-D-I-M-E. It's on? It's on. It will be on Vimeo and YouTube. Sweet. Yes. So, so look I'm going to watch, watch the shit out of that. Oh, no. Three episodes, five minutes apiece. Not much time after life. I'm going to put it on loop. Oh, get you all man. those hits. Oh. Get you all those hits. Like, 23% of like the viewership is Austrian. <laughs> I think they have algorithms to combat that, but keep doing that shit yeah. anyway, bro. No, I'm just randomizing that IP address, <laughs> bro. <laughs> but, Paul, thank you for having me oh, on it the was, podcast. It was hilarious. Time. I'm thank glad you. to be your first black person yet again. <laughs> I'm it's, so happy that honor. you were so gentle with me. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's gonna, uh, when the mic goes off. This is what Paul's asshole sounds like when he farts now. <laughs> after fucking with me, I'm you know. gonna hit a high C <laughs> after that. All right, I think this is it. Bye, guys. Have a good one, guys. <laughs>